hi, my love, beautiful souls. This is Mr. Close of Love and Love, and I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it there. Not for sure. Let's collect reading, not for stream. Collect reading, not for stream. Okay, we're just going to pull some energy. I want you to know what's going on here. What's going on for the collective. Let's see. Let's see what they need to know. Thank you. We got somebody's mystic, okay? You, you're a mystical being. Very, very mystical. We have polar bear. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. Polar bear mystic. I haven't used that in a while. Might be a little bit far away. Okay, so you got access to your psychic abilities, okay? This is this is beautiful here. Let's just get that out of the way. Polar bear could be uh, your, your spiritual animal right now, okay? You you have access to being a shaman as well, healing, okay? Healing others. Faith when face adversity. So there's something that you're looking into too, helping others that you know normally don't help is what I'm getting. Let's see. I'm pulling Pleiades here. I'm pulling Pleiades, a higher vibrating energy. Okay, fifth dimensional. Let's pull some Pleiades energy too. Universal knowledge. There's a lot of information coming to you. Downloads. After downloads. After downloads, okay? Universal knowledge. This is accessing source, creator, God, okay? Higher dimensional beings. And if you look at the back of the like, look at universal knowledge, it's coming to your third eye, okay? In your crown chakra. DNA activations. This is like energy of like someone that Continue to learn something new every single day. Eleven, aligning with your path as well. Okay, aligning with your path as well. Truth, free thinking, questioning the situation, independent. Okay, this, I'm going to get this to you. Um, there has been great de deception on your planet that has resulted in this ma ma mass losing touch with the greater story of their star ancestry. Covered up by false education, colonization, and corrupt media Cognomerate. The human race has been led to believe that they have simply evolved from apes. We have not. We're not evolved from apes, you guys. We are not evolved from apes. Although the general genetical makeup of the Homo sapiens has many similarities to the species, to the species, there is also many flat-out deceptions that have been infused by false powers to create a block into fully understanding one's true star origin and the truth of why one is here. Okay, yeah, we have been manipulated. Okay, you've been manipulated. I've been manipulated. There was full-on deception okay not allowing us to know who we truly are okay they did not want us to know who we were okay in order that in order then to tap into the greater universal story it is paramount that one detoxes from all colonized histories and education systems that it place emphasizes on western knowledge yeah western knowledge is like mm. while just crediting other sources in particular is the opportunity to tune into the library that it that is in themselves. Here's a temple of the self rest soul and genetic knowledge that is held in one's DNA. Know that your DNA is a data bank to your species story and no matter the outside manipulation, the truth can never be taken from within. The card of universal knowledge arrives when there is greater story that needs to be presented which is currently being withheld. Now is the time to question, seek beyond what is told, and explore the truth of what you think you know. Do not fall blindly into any narratives of what is presented and trust your gut on what may or may not feel right the star guides are imploring you to not be blindly not blindly follow what others are saying in this moment but tap into your res reservoirs of self-knowing and alternative meaning on this card can indicate stepping out of the mind and into the heart make this a moment to break free from the confinement of mental loops and enter into the freedom of presence self-knowledge always prevails so we are deceptive as human beings okay we're deceptive Straight up, straightforward. Okay, we're deceptive. We weren't. We were deceptive by, you know, the people, the government, stuff like that. Okay? We were lied to. We were lied to. And now it's time to search for the truth, okay? Hear the truth from Source Creator God. 
go within. Okay, Lyrians. Lyrians connected to you, okay? Lyrians are the oldest souls in the known galaxy. They helped humanity. Accessing that as well. Fusion. Okay, what's going on here? Thank you. 14 resources, okay? Okay, you're, there's many resources out there. Okay, observation, abundance, prosperity, and gifts. What I'm getting to is you were manipulated by people you care about, okay? You're manipulated. Um, there's somebody that was telling you not the truth, okay? You're living in a lie. You're living in illusion, okay? You're breaking free from that. You're receiving downloads and messages about this now, okay? You're receiving the truth now is what I'm getting as well, okay? Did you receive this truth? The resources card is beamed down when you might be overlooking an asset that you have in your life right now. Begin to take stock of your sacred gifts that are near and soon you will discover that you are required for your earth mission is right here. This can come to the form of individuals you know, possessions you might have, or any unique talents or skills that are waiting to be utilized. Okay, you have the resources, okay? So this too is like... You know, if you want to start something, you ha you can recycle things, okay? Things can be recycled. Like a lot of my, how I started my business was I was recycling. I recycled baby jars, okay? I made candles out of them. I used my body butters and my scrubs, okay? Recycling things, okay? When I didn't have the money, I asked God to show me what I can do to, you know, make money and to save money. And he said, use your baby jars. Reuse your baby jars. Reuse your, your peanut butter jars. Reuse the things around here, okay? You have things that you can use. When I did my um, tarot cards, my index card, I had index cards. Or use scratch paper, okay? Use scratch paper. Okay, there's things, resources, okay? Right around, okay? There's also charities. There's also, you know, um, uh, resource centers as well, okay? Thrift stores, stuff like that as well, okay? Um, that you don't have to go and buy stuff at Walmart, you know, and pay money for that. You, you have things, okay? You have things, okay? There's things here. Luminaria. So this is like a reading. This is a reading for star seats, okay? Access. Okay. Activating your star scene. Well, wow, that's a lot. Pino Gland Perspective, okay? That came out in the last reading, too. Your third eye, okay? It's coming out. New blueprints, okay? You're receiving some new blue blueprints as well. Wisdom, consciousness, intuition, imagination, okay? This is, yeah, this is consciousness. This is your intuition, probably intuition with this third eye chakra, okay? The same things, feeling things, okay? Knowing. Be the change, take action, take steps, no matter how small, ignite an upright spider, make a positive change, ethics, compassion, creative, a ripple effect, okay? So that's what I'm getting, like, you are here to make a change, okay? You receive this universal, universal knowledge and bring truth okay to make that change okay to help activate people um to help them come into their higher self okay find their higher self find who they find out who they really are okay bring truth i just keep hearing bring truth this this reading is about bringing truth because you've been deceived okay you've been deceived by the government you've been deceived by your friends family okay they lied to you they betrayed you okay something about that you did not know who you really were okay you, you don't even know your background okay someone was keeping your background from you Someone didn't want you to know that you could actually, you know, connect right to Source, Creator, God. They didn't want you to believe that you're divine. They wanted to believe you that you're lower than them, okay? They want to believe that you're lower than them, that you can't be above them, 
that you can't advance, that you can't evolve, that you can't, you know, expand your consciousness. They didn't want you to know that you can't access extraterrestrials, other multidimensional beings. Like, they didn't want you to know that you can um, glitch the matrix or break free from the matrix either, okay? That's what they're keeping a lie to you, okay? They wanted to keep you conditioned. They wanted to keep you programmed. They didn't want you to learn how to deprogram to reprogram, okay? That's what that's what the, the world around you, okay? The people wanted. They didn't want you to deprogram because then they can't control you. They can't keep you slaved. Araboros, infinity, eternal life, and past life. You're accessing your past lives as well. Okay, this is eternal infinity. You know, there's infinity lives. Okay. Many multiverses, many trillions of galaxies. There's 18 universes and trillions of galaxies. You're creating a galaxy, okay? You're you're finding your soul family, your star family. Pentagram, harmony, protection, idealism. Okay, you're being protected from the dark forces. Triangles are very important. The pyramid is very important, okay? Pyramid, um, it's energy, okay? Triangles, energy, three points. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Look, at, uh, it's usually three trimesters for a female. Everything comes in threes. Pleadies, unconditional love, excitement, laughter. When I look at this, this I look at this and I see Pleadies. I see uh, uh, Paris Hilton as a Pleadies. P Paris Hilton is a loving being. Okay, she went through a lot, okay, she she was abused, everyone thought she was bad, but she's actually an ambassador, okay, she's here to help, and I look at her, and like everyone says she's a barter, but she's a true Pleiadian. Very beautiful being. She just got caught up in some str struggles and stuff and went through some trauma. Okay, you may connect with Paris Hilton, okay, telepathically, okay, somebody connects with her telepathically. Okay, that's what I'm getting to is with you having this universe knowledge, you're, t you're you're communicating telepathically with others, okay? Other celebrities, other beings, other um, human beings, okay? All around the world. Not even realizing it. The visionary, wake. So you awake. Within intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. The priestess, embody. I am embodiment of divine feminine. They just too, they didn't want us to step into our divine feminine. Okay, they want us to live in this masculine energy of logic, okay, of doing, taking action. They didn't want us to follow our intuition. They didn't want us to go with the flow. They didn't want us to be loving, caring. They want us to live in our ego. Masculine energy is ego. You are an ancient grandmother teacher. I am a teacher that leads with self-knowledge. See, you're here to teach with self-knowledge. This fellow too. The Huntress quest. The Pleiades light my quest to be wild and free. So the Pleiades are assisting you, helping you. Okay, you're a Huntress. A warrior, a fighter, a teacher, a priestess, a knowing, feeling. This is, you, you embody a visionary, so you see things, okay? A priestess, a knowing teacher and huntress a warrior a fighter so you have visions you could uh, be a prophet yeah you see this you vision you see things before it happens you see things before it happens you have this inner knowing you know things before they happen and then you teach about it okay you, you're here to teach and then look at you you're a fighter you're a warrior you protect okay you protect what what you're supposed to protect. Your family, your friends, your community, this planet. They didn't want that for you. Somebody didn't want that. Somebody was trying to stop you. I'm keeping that with you. Okay, so you've been lied to your whole life. Okay, that's what I'm getting to. You've been lied to your whole life, and you're finally waking up to this. You're finally seeing this, knowing this now. Okay, this whole entire time you've been lied to. Okay? And it, it kind of pissed you off. It kind of hurt you. You Now you you knew you're betrayed. Felt betrayed. Okay, but now you're being crowned. You're being initiated, okay? You're being given this crown to be a teacher, to be a leader. Crowning, initiation, threshold, birth, rebirth, a seat at the table. You're going to seat at the table.
somebody was trying to keep that from you. Somebody didn't want you to access access that. Somebody didn't want you at the, at the, to see this table. It could be a family member, a friend. Okay, they didn't want you to be at this 12, you know what I mean? Like when you look at that, like the, what is it? The, the, ah, what is it? Oh my gosh. The round table. The round table. There's 12 kings at the round table. You're meant to sit there. You're you're one of the twelve queens or kings that's meant to sit on this round table, okay, to be a leader, a ruler, stand in your power, be passionate about your vision, bring about positive change. There it is again, okay. You've been lied to your whole life, okay. You were lied to your whole life, and when you woke up, when you woke up, and you started receiving this universal knowledge in your pineal gland, seeing things, feeling things, knowing things, is when you started taking back your power, okay. And now you're here to make this impact. Now you're here to make this positive change. Help teach, guide, protect. They can't stop you. The dark force can't stop you. The enemy cannot stop you. You have access. You have access to ash records. Okay, to people's ash records. That's how important role you have. Okay, you have a very important role here on earth okay you you have access to people's actual records not everyone has access we're supposed to be only into our own but somehow you have access to other people's actual records because you're part of this this leader ruler hmm thanks this is the truth thanks can only um truth okay riddles talks and riddles you pass through if you know the truth, okay? If you if you answer correctly, you pass through, okay? So you're answering things correctly, okay? You know the truth, so you're able to pass through, okay? That's why you're able to pass this test. You're able to in be initiated as well, okay? The things is really important here for someone. Uriel, um, Angel Uriel as well. Body of a lion indicating strength in the head of a king, showing authority and intelligence. Okay, authority and intelligence. But more than this, the Sphinx represents the enigmatic ener and instructable, the silent holder of truth and the ancient mysteries of the world. That's why Spirit told me to look at this because, like I said, okay, but more than okay, the Sphinx is usually shown with the body of a lion indicating strength in the head of a king, showing authority and intelligence. But more than this, the Sphinx, Sphinx represents enigmatic and instructable the silent holder of truth and the ancient mysteries of the world here the archangel euro connects and confers with the great source of mystery this card shows that this is the time for you to do the most important and possible the most difficult work in your life the digging and inner discovery that takes you to the deepest self and your deepest power even the great things had to be dug out many times before times from the blowing desert sands that were buried it up to its neck. And you must dig diligently too. You may have to chip away at the rock-like substance of your old beliefs and history so that you can get to the truth inside. But don't worry, you have begun and already and you've made considerable inroads. There's also someone here to help you, Yurio, whose name means fire of God. You can work directly in your meditations with Archangel for self-understanding, transformation, and guidance. Also be on the lookout for someone in your life daily whom Uriel has sent. This could be a teacher, mentor, or even a new friend who shares a kinship with you about this inner quest. It is a relationship of great value that comes in time of profound power. Don't diminish the importance of this phase. It is the work that leads you to your initiation into your higher power. I just said that. Your initiation into higher power. Like, you know the truth. You have the truth. And the deepest mystery. You hold the deepest mystery. You're here to guide. But see, your whole life it's been a big lie. Your whole life. Like, they didn't want you to know this. They didn't want you to have this secret power. This inner power. This knowing. This universal knowledge. They didn't want you to be able to connect right to source, creator, God. They didn't want you to have all this information. They didn't want you to know about extraterrestrials and all this stuff. They wanted to keep you closed-minded. Stuck. Trapped. Working a nine-to-five job. Going to work so they can... you. Pay all these taxes and freaking 
You're miserable. Your, your purpose has just begun. Okay, that's what you said. Your purpose has just begun. Okay? Your meaning has just begun. Whatever it is, it's just begun. Okay? If you're 20 years old, you're 50 years old, 70 years old, it just begun. Okay? It doesn't matter. You just begun. You have a long, long life ahead of you. Okay? Good health. I'm hearing good, good health as well. Okay? Because of what you access it, because you have stepped into this, because you 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 connect to a source creator God. You have this this knowing, this this knowledge, this this power. God's within you. They didn't they didn't want you to know that. That's why, okay? Somebody really, really close to you was trying to keep this from you, okay? Somebody really close to you was trying to keep this from you. Because you have love. The person that was keeping this from you is hateful, okay? Did not want you to expand, did not want you to grow, did not, did not want you to know the truth about yourself, about the world around you. Universe, we're all just stardust. See, okay, protest, start a revelation. So you could be starting a revelation. Standing up for your people, standing up, okay? You have that power within fire. Sundress, do it for you. Don't just do it for them, do it for yourself too. If you feel like you need to um, stand up and protest, then do it. What you believe in, stand up for it, okay? Don't let anyone else make you um, doubt yourself, okay? Because there's going to be people out there that hate, that are going to make you feel like you don't know what you're talking about, make you doubt yourself so you can't stand up, so you can't, you know, help others out, so you can't protect, you can't be this warrior, this guardian. Healing, restoring help that fell on the floor. Dragons. Helping others, restore hope with others, okay? Because a lot of people, are, you know, especially when they start going through awakenings, okay? They feel lost. They feel like, you know, um, unworthy, hopeless. And you restore them that hope within them. Allowing them to find the power within them as well. Knowing that God's within them. That they're a warrior as well. 28 surrendered letting go of the darkness you went through this darkness okay without the darkness you wouldn't know the light okay i said that before in many readings without the darkness you wouldn't know the light and that's that's why you're here you're here to help other people okay that have stepped into the darkness that and try to help them get out help them to learn to surrender and let go of the darkness and then protection what's finding what's important again what is truly important to you the truth if truth is important, then keep speaking your truth. Keep bringing truth. There will be people that will follow. There will be people that will walk away too. Okay, There's going to be a lot of people that will walk away from you. Because you are speaking your truth. Because they don't want to hear it. And it's because they don't they don't believe it or they don't want to hear it. They're not ready for it. Okay, So you're going to have many, many people that are going to walk away from you. Okay, Or God's going to you know remove them from your life. Because they don't believe what you believe. And it's just because they're not ready. They're not ready to be woke. They're not ready to know the truth. It scares them. There, there are so many people that are so scared of the truth, afraid of the truth, that they'd rather live a big lie. They'd rather live uh, a, an illusion in a fantasy world. So they'll, they'll believe the lies because they don't want to believe the truth. It's too hurtful. It's, it's too scary. It's too painful. But if they just gave it enough time, they would actually be able to be happy and move forward and heal. Okay, what else? Thank you. Justice. Things being balanced out. One more. Karma. Okay, so we have justice. We have karma. Okay. Prophecy. I said that. Prophecy. Be a prophet. 
one of your if you prophesy something this prophecy that you prophesize is coming true okay people are gonna see it so if there's something you prophesize it's coming true and people are gonna start believing you okay people are gonna start seeing like the truth now and they're gonna start believing you they're not gonna think you're this crazy this bad shit crazy okay they're gonna be like wow this person just said this about six months ago a year ago two weeks ago and they're now they're living in it okay they're living in it they're like wow this person did prophesy something this this, this came from god source creator You you could you could have warned somebody about their karma too. Okay, what was gonna happen? Okay, you could have been warning people about what was happening in this world. You could have dreams about it. Okay. Some people just know. Okay, there there are people out there just know. Like me, um, I don't always see things. I just know. I I just I don't I don't know. Just all of a sudden, blow something out. I just know it, and then like. My husband will talk about it or somebody else would say this just was occurred on the thing. I'm like, wow. You know, like, even though I didn't see it, I, I just know. It just, it just came to me. Like, I do, I, it's hard to explain sometimes, like, just knowing. Back in the day when I was going through my awakening and, like, using in the street and I was telling people what was going to happen to them. They're like, how do you know this? You're talking to the cops? You're talking to the cops? How do you know this is going to happen? Because I would, I was telling one of my ex-friends. Well, he's not my ex-friend. I just don't talk to him anymore. Um. He's in treatment or, treatment or something. Um, I kept telling him he's going to be on high-speed chase. I kept telling him he's going to go to jail. He's going to end up overdosing. And guess what? All three of them, all three things happened. He overdosed. He went on high-speed chase. And he went to prison. And he, he didn't want to believe me. He didn't want to listen to me. And I said it to him all different times. He didn't want to believe it. And then it happened. And then the person I told to, she's like, oh my gosh. You said it happened and it happened. She didn't believe it was going to happen, and then it did. I don't talk to her anymore, though. So, that could be something that you, you, you're telling people what's going to happen, and they don't want to believe you, and they're like, oh, gosh, you're crazy. No, that doesn't happen. How do you know? Questioning you. You know? Don't doubt yourself. And then when I did say that, I actually doubted myself for a minute. I'm like, okay, maybe I am going a little bit crazy. Maybe I am crazy, because I'm hearing this stuff. I just know this stuff. And, like, I'm like, maybe I am losing my mind. But then it happened, and I'm like, no, I'm not losing my mind. So don't let anyone doubt you, okay? And you don't need uh, you don't need um, anyone's permission or um, what's the word? Not permission. Um, that'll come to me. Wow, I don't know. Let's get angel number. Eighty-three. I can't think of the word, but it'll, it'll probably come to me in the next reading. Eighty-three. Encouragement, support, love is coming towards you. Don't give up. Unconditional love. What's that? Aries, Cancer, Sagittarius, Cancer, and number five. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, and namaste.